Emerging science is showing us that with the right nutrients and cutting edge therapies, peripheral nerves can be healed. Millions worldwide endure relentless tingling, burning, or numbness in their hands and feet due to nerve damage. Yet most remain unaware that the key to healing is within their grasp. Today, we're delving into scientifically proven methods for healing your nerves, taking you beyond just symptom management. I'll reveal the techniques that have been used in Europe and Asia for over 30 years to reverse peripheral neuropathy, methods we've successfully employed in our clinic to help over 18,000 patients. Isn't it about time you reclaim your life from the pain and the symptoms? Stick around because this is the one talk you can't afford to miss. Coming up. Hey there, health warriors. Dr. M here. Commonly, peripheral nerve damage, also known as neuropathy, can start out as a minor inconvenience. But with time and progressing damage, this condition can drastically decrease your quality of life, affecting everything from your ability to walk to your very sense of touch. Not to mention, it can rob you of countless hours of sleep. But here's the good news. Emerging science is showing us that with the right nutrients and cutting edge therapies, you can take significant steps towards healing. So I'm going to break down each crucial step to repair and regenerate your damaged nerves, each backed by clinical studies. Let's start with your primary foundation, the critical nutrients for nerve healing. Studies have proven certain powerful nutrients are the building blocks for the repair and regeneration of nerve cells. These are R-alpha lipoic acid, pyridoxal 5-phosphate or P5P, folate, methylcobalamin, benfodiamine, acetyl-L-carnitine, and L-citrulline. Clinical studies have shown that these nutrients are critical players in the foundation for nerve repair. They've been shown to facilitate nerve repair and regeneration, they improve nerve conduction and signaling, and are essential for DNA and neurotransmitter synthesis, a critical component for regenerating damaged nerves. These nutrients help repair and maintain the health of the myelin sheath, the protective coating around the nerve fiber, and that allows for faster nerve signal transmission. They also protect the nerves from advanced glycated end products, or AGEs, and oxidative stress, resulting in reduced inflammation around the nerves. But the list doesn't end here. Studies have also revealed that the amino acid nutrient components like acetyl-L-carnitine and L-citrulline stimulate the growth of new nerve fibers, and these are necessary for nerve recovery. They also boost nitric oxide production. The increase in NO provides better blood flow, delivering more nutrients and oxygen to repair the damaged nerves. So this is a very general overview of these crucial nutrients for nerve repair. It's important for you to gain knowledge and insight before you purchase any nerve support formula. So make sure you watch our videos, vital ingredients for nerve repair, the right dose, and avoid these ingredients. These three videos will go into greater detail on what these nutrients do and how much you need to take and how to identify a good nerve support formula from an ineffective one. When we made our formulas, Neforia CM Gold and Nerve Defense, we based it completely on the research findings. And believe it or not, our goal wasn't to make the best neuropathy formula on the market. It was simply to make the best formula to help our patients overcome their peripheral neuropathy. Hell, we didn't even sell our formula to the public for almost 10 years. Only patients in our clinic were able to purchase it. So please understand, you don't have to buy our nerve support formula. We just want you to be informed so you're not guessing if the formula that you're getting ready to purchase is good or not. Now, let's talk about a cutting edge therapy that's making waves in the treatment of peripheral neuropathy, photobiomodulation. In almost two decades of working with peripheral neuropathy patients, we found that photobiomodulation, or PBM for short, makes an enormous difference, especially for severe cases of neuropathy or chronic cases spanning five years or longer. This therapy uses specific wavelengths of light to penetrate the skin and stimulate nerve repair. So if you've watched any of our previous videos, you've heard us say that nerves are the slowest healing tissues in the body. The Mayo Clinic and numerous other research institutions state that nerves can take anywhere from one to two years to heal. 
So what's great about photobiomodulation is that it speeds healing time considerably with a massive amount of research to back up the technology. Since the 60s, this medical treatment has gained attention due to the impact it's had on wound healing. By the 80s, research shifted to PBM's ability to enhance peripheral nerve regeneration, reduce nerve pain, and improve overall nerve function. PBM enhances the mitochondrial function of nerve cells to promote nerve regeneration, to reduce inflammation, and to improve blood flow for healing nerves. In our clinic, when we partnered this therapy with the critical nutrients that I described earlier, it was a real game changer for peripheral neuropathy recovery. Okay, the next step in our neuropathy recovery guide involves integrating specific exercises into your routine that can focus on enhancing muscle strength, it can improve your range of motion, and boost both balance and proprioception. When peripheral nerves get damaged, muscles can become weak, and there's often a disconnect in the proprioceptive system of the body. Proprioception is your body's ability to sense where it is in space without having to look. It's like an internal GPS that tells your brain where your arms, legs, and other parts of your body are even when your eyes are closed. For instance, I can close my eyes and still touch my nose, touch my mouth, or touch any part of my body without looking. This sense helps you move smoothly and maintain your balance. When you lose proprioception, you'll develop impaired balance and you can develop poor coordination, making simple tasks like picking up objects, walking, or even standing up more challenging. If you're interested in testing how good your proprioception is, make sure you click on that bell to get notified of our upcoming video on balance. In our exercise videos, we incorporate specific exercises that even people with severe peripheral neuropathy can do. Our exercises target strength, range of motion, balance, and coordination. Make sure you incorporate these exercises into your routine at least five days a week to maximize your recovery. Now, the last part of your complete neuropathy recovery is incorporating an anti-inflammatory diet. This diet plays a significant role in healing nerves by addressing chronic inflammation, which is a huge factor that contributes to nerve damage. An anti-inflammatory diet focuses on eliminating foods that promote inflammation and tissue damage, like processed foods, grains with gluten, sugary foods and beverages, processed meats, and trans fats. It incorporates vegetables and fruits high in antioxidants, omega-3 fatty acids. It also incorporates whole grains that do not contain gluten like rice, quinoa, or buckwheat. And it incorporates lean protein and potent herbs and spices. This diet will create an environment in your body that decreases nerve inflammation, reduces pain and discomfort, improves blood flow, lowers blood sugar levels, and most importantly, prevents further nerve damage. When you focus on foods that fight inflammation and avoid ones that promote it, you can take an important step towards healing peripheral neuropathy. So I'll include a link to our video, Stop Inflammation. So these are the key components you need to recover from peripheral neuropathy. But this list isn't complete without me mentioning some important obstacles you may face that could slow or even halt your recovery. So the first obstacle I wanna mention is low vitamin D levels. It's imperative that you know what your vitamin D level in your body is. If your vitamin D is below 50 nanograms per deciliter on your lab tests, this can slow the nerve's healing potential. Optimally, your vitamin D should be at 60 nanograms per deciliter or higher. If you don't know your levels, get a simple lab test, and it's very inexpensive if you don't have health insurance. The next obstacle is medication. Health warriors, there are so many medications that are linked with causing nerve damage or worsening its symptoms. Meds like statins for lowering cholesterol, high blood pressure meds like amlodipine, philodipine, verapamil, and deltiazem. Antibiotics like Cipro and Leviquin do extensive damage to peripheral nerves. Even diabetes medications like metformin have been linked with causing nerve damage. And there are so many more drugs than these. We've done a few videos on medications uh, that damage nerves, so I'll include the links for those videos for you down below. If you're on any medication, you really need to take a look at these videos. 
The next roadblock to your recovery may be uncontrolled glucose levels. Whether you're pre-diabetic or you have full-blown diabetes, elevated glucose will damage your nerves. The good news is, if you're following the steps that I've outlined, especially taking a complete nerve support formula and following an anti-inflammatory diet, your glucose levels will be the best you've ever seen. Several of the key ingredients I covered have been scientifically proven to reduce elevated glucose and lower hemoglobin A1C levels. Now, this next roadblock is so insidious that most people don't realize the significant ramifications of preventing nerves from healing. That's chronic alcohol consumption. Health warriors, I'm not talking about being an alcoholic, although that most definitely will prevent your recovery, but I am referring to even the casual drinker. If you're drinking alcohol of any kind, it doesn't matter if it's beer, wine, or hard liquor, this will hinder or prevent your nerves from healing. Now, I'm not saying you can't have one or two alcoholic beverages a week. Did you hear me? No more than two beverages weekly, not daily. And this is important while you're recovering because alcohol is very toxic to the nerves and even more so once the nerve has been damaged. Think of it like pouring salt into an open wound. Now, the last roadblock is your state of mind. If you've been shrouded in pessimism or crushed hopes for any length of time, your brain has been rewired to this way of thinking. This negative mindset doesn't just affect your emotions, it can actually interfere with your body's ability to heal. When you dwell in negativity, your stress levels increase and your body releases stress hormones like cortisol, which can worsen inflammation and slow down the repair of damaged nerves. But here's the good news. Just as your brain was wired to think negatively, it can be rewired for positivity and healing. It's not an overnight process, but by consciously choosing hope and practicing positivity, you can create a mental environment that supports recovery. Your thoughts have power more than you might realize. The moment you change your thoughts, you change your world. Embracing a positive outlook and believing in your capacity to heal won't just boost your mood, it will also stimulate your body's natural healing processes. We've created a video on healing affirmations to help you begin to rewire your brain to a more positive, optimistic state. Play this video once, twice, or even a few times throughout your day. Let it play in the background while you're cooking, working, or driving. This will begin to lay the foundation to a more positive outlook and faster healing. Well, Health Warriors, I know you may have traveled this neuropathy detour for quite a while, but I'd venture a wild guess that this is the first time you've ever come across any doctor who has successfully reversed peripheral neuropathy for thousands of patients. And that makes all the difference in the world to your recovery. You're not on this journey alone and you're not blindfolded anymore. You're now gaining information from two doctors who have been in the trenches for 20 years successfully battling peripheral neuropathy. So if you follow our guidelines, you'll see significant changes in your life. Remember, healing is a journey. Stay committed to your recovery plan, surround yourself with encouragement, and trust that improvement is possible. You're not alone in this fight, and with the right tools and attitude, you can overcome even the toughest roadblocks on your path to healing. So before you go, please help us in our mission to reverse neuropathy globally by subscribing to our channel and giving us a thumbs up. Also, share this video with anyone you know who's battling this terrible condition. And health warriors, don't forget to click on that bell to get notified of our new videos. Until next time, health warriors, I look forward to seeing you on the road to great nerve health. Blessings. Well, health, health, <laughs> Dr. C says when I do that, I need to do this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. I know you may have traveled this neuropathy detail. <laughs> like that. <laughs>